It happened around 2.30 this afternoon. Our Tom George has been following this closely for us all evening uh, long. Now, Tom, you've been there for a while. I still see some activity behind you. Can you update our viewers on what we know tonight? Yeah, Dewan, uh, still a lot of mystery surrounding this case, but obviously uh, it seems like there is a lot to the story here. This is a very serious investigation. It is now nine hours and counting that those crews have been out here and very much an active presence right here. You can see they have the entire mobile command unit set up right here, but the center of attention is just to the left of that. It's all centered around that storage facility that has now been blocked off since 2.30 this afternoon. Multiple units on scene. Uh, still unclear where this originally happened. We didn't see them opening any of the, any of the storage units at all centered around the office of that complex. I want to take you to some video that we shot a little bit earlier when it was still light out. They got the call around 2.30. Uh, they were called here. They found a victim uh, dead here, treating this as a homicide investigation. And since then, uh, they have been uh, back and forth uh, combing for evidence. Again, uh, we don't know where that person was found. It didn't appear uh, that they had been looking through any of the individual uh, garages or units, although uh, that, that may have happened earlier, but it seems that they were centering their investigation around the office uh, of this area. So obviously that is something that they are continuing uh, to investigate as well. We did see some uh, people going back and forth a little bit earlier, but obviously this area is still blocked off. But at this point, it, we do know that there is a person of interest in custody, and we are told from Durham police that there is uh, this was an isolated incident, no threat to the community, uh, although obviously a very busy uh, area out here. Uh, they are going to be investigating well into the night. We'll, of course, uh, continue to try and get those uh, questions answered as we learn more about this homicide investigation. For now, we're live in Durham. Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.